Hi guys, welcome to my channel. First of all, Happy New Year everybody. I hope you had a really good time celebrating and had time to rest. And second of all, I want to start doing my makeup right now because I want to leave as soon as possible. I want to do it quick and keep it simple, but I'm still going to show you step by step. So let's start right now. First, I'm using my serum. I'm just refreshing my skin. Second is my sunscreen. New Year already passed by and it's my birthday soon. I was born on January 10th and today is January 3rd. It's not like tomorrow, but it's already soon. And I didn't get any gifts for myself on New Year. And I think it's a good time to go get presents for both holidays for myself. And I love myself, so I think I can spend some money to treat my soul. Next is primer. I applied with my beauty blender, so it will soak wet a little bit before I'll start applying my liquid products. The problem is about this big shopping is because I don't know what I want. I know some like products which I wish to buy, but I don't have any special brands. So I'm just gonna go and check what I wish to buy. Also, I wanted to try some products from Rare Beauty. Everybody knows this brand, but Korean Sephora said no, they don't have it. And I also wanted some products from Charlotte Tilbury, but once again, Korean Sephora said no. So I don't have any other brands which I specifically want to try. And yeah, I'm just gonna go and check. Freezing my eyebrows with this Anastasia wax. And now concealer under eyes and around my nose here. Because I just get tired really quick and I'm worried that because I don't have this list of the things that I want I'll be just like, okay, it means I don't want anything and I'll just leave. Today I have day off and I don't have any other plans so I hope it will motivate me to spend some more time in the store. I also have Sephora not too far from my house but I've been there too many times. Forgot Vaseline on my lips. Pencil on my waterline. And I'm gonna use the Chanel shadow palette. So yeah, I've been to this closest Sephora already too many times and I think I've seen all their products. So today I want to try to go a little further, but to another Sephora, maybe they have other products which I haven't seen yet. And I just really hope I can find good stuff there. Now let's finish up my eyebrows with the color. I bought this Vivian Sibyl pencil in Russia like a few years ago and I'm still using it. At the same time with getting tired too quick, I already told you before that most of the times I just simply don't like anything. Using my Hair and Make mascara. Transparent powder before using blush. Blush from Essence, I also have no idea how many years ago I got it. And once again, I love buying stuff, but I hate looking for the stuff to buy. I wish there is the place where I can just come and buy everything what I have in my imagination and I don't have to walk around and look for it. Highlighter from Clio. For lips I want to use this lip liner from Peripera and this glowy balm also from Peripera. I'm done with my makeup, now I'll go change and we can leave. I want to smell good, so let's use my Dior Hair Mist. That's how you do it, right? And my favorite perfume from Ariana Grande. Too much perfume on me? Maybe. Do I care? Absolutely not. After freezing days, weather is pretty nice today. Still cold, but better than it was before. It will take around 50 minutes to go. And I'm going to Honda area, it's fashion street for young people buying stuff But I'm not going exactly to Honda fashion street, but I'm gonna be nearby So I think I'm still gonna go there and show you how it looks like I can't live one day without walking with the cool music in my earphones And imagining like I'm in a movie or a movie clip or edit, doesn't matter Yeah, every day <laughs> I arrived at the right location and first I'm gonna go to Sephora because I'm sure I'm gonna spend most of the time in there because I need to check everything. 
I don't even need to spend a lot of time to look for it because it's right here. This looks really, really cute. If you want to take pictures with Christmas decorations, come here after Christmas and New Year because no people want to take pictures now. I have a problem with filming inside because of the background music and I don't want to be blocked for copywriting. I spent too much time in Sephora so I went outside because I'm hot and right now I think I want to go across the street to two more makeup stores and then I'll go back to the department store to look for some clothes. This is by the way my bag and I'm gonna show you everything at home. I bought just one more thing and now I want to go to a coffee shop because first of all I don't want to be tired, second of all I need to charge my camera so yeah right now I want to take a break. Yeah. Yeah. Camera is full now, time to go look for some clothes and I have no idea where I'm going to so I'll just try to look around. Look at these trees one more time, now it's much prettier. Don't look at the style, I think this dress would look pretty with the turtleneck and like with the belt here. But the fabric is really bad. It's like synthetic, it keeps sticking to my legs and it's really annoying. As I promised, now I want to go to that fashion street to show you how it looks like. And it's not too far away, but it requires a little bit of walking. I don't know what's this place, but it's just cute. Do you see this place? Deep night time when all bars and clubs are already closed. People usually come there to eat ramen, mostly, and just some stuff from convenience store. This is the street which I was talking about. Many young people shop here but I don't want to buy anything from here so right now I want to go back to the area where I live and go to some other stores. I'm sorry for showing you the street too fast but it will take like one hour for me to go back and it's currently 7 p.m. so I don't have too much time left to walk around that stores I wanted to go so I'm leaving back right now. I just arrived and I have like two more hours for shopping and I think it's more than enough. I tried to wear this jacket and then I looked at the mannequin. I skip many places where I would go if I have time, but since I don't have time, I'm just passing by. I'm surprised because I didn't think it will take this much time. I thought that in a few hours I'll be already too tired and I'll go home. But it's already 10 p.m. And I'm just going home right now.
and I actually didn't buy this much. Yes, I was like, take everything you want because it's your birthday, you know, but I just don't want. <laughs> if I really wanted, I bought it. But some things I was like, oh, that's cute, should I get it? No. Yeah, so just a few things and I'm gonna do unpacking tomorrow because I want to do it with daily light so yeah see you tomorrow hello everyone I'm running a little bit late for casting because I left perfect timing but I forgot my book so I had to go back so I spent like five minutes to go uh, some way and then come back and because of that now it's not perfect timing so I'm a little bit late and I'm running and I'm extremely hot today I have casting and fitting for my job and after that I want to go to one more department store because yesterday I wanted to buy perfume but everything I've tried I didn't like so I want to go to a bigger place to check some more perfumes and choose what I like so yeah we'll go together to the department store and after that i'll go home and we'll unpack all my stuff i bought yesterday Testing. i changed my clothes and they took video for about like 10 seconds and let me go super quick and after that my manager took me to fitting and i come in and the person says we know each other i've been there many times person says, why are you here? And I'm like, she's like, what? And she's calling me home. And then well, I close my manager. And my manager says, oh, they canceled. So they canceled, like they didn't say that. My manager did. They just called us and they canceled when I was So yeah, I was just like, okay, bye. And I left. So right now we're going to the I have to stop on perfume because I need to film unpacking today and if I just keep going and we'll do shopping again then sun will go down and I will not have time to do unpacking again today so yeah I need to do it really quick and go home look at this by the way book which I forgot and I had to go back to take it. They didn't even look at it. Today. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Like sometimes they ask for it purposely. They're like, do you have a book? Show us your pictures. But sometimes they don't even ask. And even if you offer, they're like, oh, no, I don't need it. I think I found the scent I want and they don't have it in stock but she told me where they do have it in stock and right now I'm going there luckily it's not too far away and I didn't know what kind of smell I want so I just had to check everything and wait for a click in my brain and that was it and I actually remember the smell from a long time ago I'm sure I haven't tried this exact scent but it was super similar to something I've tried before a long time ago and I loved it a lot and all this time I was trying to find it and finally I found and I really hope it will smell good on my skin Now I am satisfied, you know, yesterday I was buying everything I wanted, but I felt like something was still missing, but now I'm happy and I feel like my present is completed. I'm at home and it means that it's finally time to show you everything. Let's start with cosmetics. In this bag, everything I got from Sephora and a few things from Olive Young. In Sephora, I got the sunscreen because I need one and I didn't have a preference for the brand. This one is moisturizing sunscreen. It's good for dry skin and I have dry skin, so I think it will be good for me. Second one is this leave-in spray for my hair because once again, I need one because mine is almost done and I didn't have any preference for brand 
same as with the sunscreen. One more thing for skincare is from Olivian, this thermal water. I actually wanted to try this for a long time and yesterday there was discount for this one. They actually had two big bottles and it would be four times more product but only two times more expensive but I wasn't sure if I need these two huge bottles so I just decided to buy this one for the first time and then if I like it I'll get bigger one. Now time for makeup. First is this Tarte concealer. It's the lightest shade with the pink undertone. I've seen this all over TikTok and I got not the viral one because the viral one is like full coverage just yeah, super full coverage. This one is also full coverage, but it's 50-50 concealer plus cream. And once again, for dry skin, it's really good. And Sephora employee recommended me to get this one if I have dry skin, so. Next is this Fenty Beauty cream contour. I really wanted cream contour, but I wanted stick. This one is not. But as I said before, they had everything sold out. So that's the only thing I could buy. And I think shade looks pretty good. And I just hope it will not be too bronze because it's actually bronzer, it's not contour. But yeah, it should be with cool undertone. So I hope it's gonna be good for contour. One more thing from Fenty Beauty is highlighter. I really wanted liquid highlighter and this one was the best I could find. This one in shade Vintage Velour and this is pinkish. I'm sure it's gonna look good. And last thing I got from makeup is from Olive Young. I really wanted liquid blush, but they had everything sold out in Sephora. So I went to Olive Young and I got this Stella Nanda liquid blush. I have a lot of pink blushes, but they're all powdered and I also have liquid blushes, but they're all not pink. So I decided that I need pink liquid blush. And I think this one is pretty. You know, I decided that I want to open and show you every product so you can see how it looks like. Let's start with this blush. Yeah, I put super little, but you can see the color. And it's also velvet and it's blending really well. Now Fenty Beauty Contour. It actually looks pretty warm, even though it says that it's cool. But uh, let's hope it will look good on the face. Concealer. You can see it's pink undertone and it's blending really well. And it matches my skin perfectly. And last one is highlighter you can see it's a little bit pink we're done with cosmetics now let's look at my clothes and i actually bought only two things first one is from polo i love their old money vibe but their main colors are usually brown and like beige and these colors they don't complement me so i didn't choose their like you know traditional color and i just got a black one obviously This is like super classic polo with this V-cut and I think it will look pretty with a shirt underneath so let's try to wear it like this I think it's time to go play golf It also looks pretty by itself I feel like rich mother And the second one is super unexpected and it just wasn't this count and I thought it looks pretty. I got this from 8 seconds. I think this is going to be my favorite during springtime. I tried it at the store and I was like, oh, it looks pretty. Then I looked at the price tag and I was like, oh, that's on discount. Of course I'm gonna buy it. So yeah, this is how it ended up in my closet. And the last one, my perfume, which I bought today. Before you keep watching this video, please go in comments and write your favorite perfume. Because I know nothing about perfumes, but I really want to discover those cool perfumes for myself. Maybe you already could guess. I got perfume from Tom Ford.
I've tried many different perfumes in the store today, but every time I was like, yeah, that's good, but I'm not sure that this is it, but I can keep it and maybe smell it one more time later. But when I tried this one, I was sure this is the one. This is tobacco wood. Oh my God. Oh. oh my God, guys, it smells so good. I don't know what's your preferences, but this is definitely mine. Oh, and they also gave me the sample Oud Wood. <laughs> I've tried this one too, and it was good, but the one I got is the best. And this was all I got for my birthday, and I'm really happy with everything I bought. Thank you guys for being with me. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed my video.